Is that not the naughtiest golf shot you've ever seen in your life? One of the reasons many people love Titleist drivers is that they don't oversaturate the releases. During the last five years, they've only released three different series, and they are the TS, the TSI, and now the TSR range. And in this video, I'm gonna be testing all three of these drivers against each other to see what improvements have been made and the results are surprising. The original TS series, which stands for Titleist Speed, and this driver really helped put Titleist back on the map in this category. They had struggled in the previous years competing with their competitors in this area. The TSI continued that work and now the TSR is the pinnacle of all the work that the Titleist engineers have been putting in to producing this driver. It's also the number one played driver on all the major tours. Now that actually came as a bit of a surprise to me, it might come as a bit of a surprise to you, but like I said, it's something to take notice of. In the new series, there are three new models, the TSR2, the TSR3, and the TSR4. The TSR2 is aimed at golfers looking for a little bit more forgiveness, whilst the TSR4 is a small head design at 430cc and aimed at the better ball strikers. The driver we're mostly gonna be focusing on today is the TSR3, which sits in the middle, and in my opinion, is the best looking driver I've seen in a long time. Now, I got fitted for my TSR drive three weeks ago. So let's head over to Woven, see what that fitting was like, and also what the data was showing. The biggest compliment I can pay to this place is that it's very un-British in many respects. It's the type of place you'd expect to find in America. So first of all, I was sitting my driver. This is the Callaway Rogue STLS Triple Diamond to get my benchmark numbers. This is a driver which I absolutely love. One of the big advantages of having a tour workshop on site is that I can stick my big fat grips on there. I hit all the drivers during this fitting, but it was the TSR3 which was producing the best numbers. And then what I did, so lucky, I got out on the Duchess course at Woburn, one of the tightest golf courses you will ever see. So this driver should be absolutely perfect for me. And stay tuned because we are going to have a comparison against older Titleist drivers coming up. But let's see. It's just so tight. It is unbelievably tight. Right. Wow. Okay. Oh, come on, wind. Come on, wind. That is going to be one out of one, I think. Oh, wow. These fairways are so small. <laughs> my drive was literally more accurate than my 58 degree wedge. Go figure. So first up, the head cover, a lovely pebbled leather, apparently. Now with each of the TSR drivers, they do have a similar look across the bottom. They've been very much smoothed out, made very simple. And the problem is with that, to my eye, these drivers look very nice. They look simple, they look beautiful, but actually on camera, they don't really come across that well. It looks like there's not a lot going on. So 326, now this favors a little bit of a draw of the tee shot here on the second. Could be able to get on the green. If I get on the green, that counts as a fairway, okay? So I'm just gonna go up the right-hand side. I'm just gonna try and draw it back. Oh, never mind. The fairway, get in the hole. <laughs> Is that not the naughtiest goal shot you've ever seen in your life? But a big question is how does the TSR stack up against the previous TS releases? So I'm gonna put the TSR3 against the TSI3 and simply the TS3. I'm gonna be using this 10 size shaft that I got fitted for at Woburn as well. So the test is as fair as possible. So the heads I have, TSR3 and the TSI3 are both in eight degrees. Now this is moved to D1, so that's 0.75 of a degree down. The TS3, that is in an 8.5 degree head. So obviously there is a slight difference here in the lofts, but let's see if that actually affects the overall results. So 
My fitting for the TSR driver was a few weeks ago and I've been bashing away with it ever since, but this is the first time I've compared all three together and on the same day. The results were surprising. Well, 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 what can I say? So first of all, let's start with swing speed. It's actually very warm in here and my cruising speed today was around 124 miles an hour, which is slightly faster than I normally would swing it. Strike at times was an issue, but we will get back to that because it plays an incredibly important role within this review. Now, the ball I was using to test these drivers was the Chrome Soft X. So that is my gamer ball. It was slightly different than the Pro V1 I was using at Titleist. So the carry distance with the TSR was averaging out at 309.7 yards. The TSI 3 was at 308.6 yards and the TS3 at pretty much bang on 308 as well. Total distances, we have the TSR at 332.4, the TSI at 331.8 and the TS3 at 330.1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we bring all these numbers together, you will see that there is almost no difference at all. And I'll throw up a few different numbers here as well, but from spin rates to launch angles to swing speeds, everything was matching up. It was so difficult to find anything to actually split them. So I absolutely loved the TS3 when it came out. And for me, I think it still actually feels the best out of these drivers. It's springy. It feels a lot more reactive. Now, if you'd have blind tested me and actually asked me to tell the difference between the TSI and the TSR3 drivers, ah, I think I'd have been struggling a little bit. Mm. And with the TSI and the TSR, it's not how similar they are that interests me. It's what the differences are between these two drivers. And I think I have found one. So here are the strike patterns between the three drivers. Now you can see here that the TSR3, I was striking it pretty consistently towards the heel. Now this should have increased spin rates. It should have dropped performance overall, but actually the numbers were still really good. Now what that shows me is that the TSR3, even though it has a lot of similarities with the other drivers. On off-center hits, it's very, very good. So then I thought, what would be the difference if I started to consistently strike the TSR3 out of the center? So I tested the TSR3 again till pretty much my hands were shaking, but I managed to achieve the consistent strike pattern that I wanted, and I was hitting it good. And I looked at the data, and much to my surprise, there was again absolutely no difference at all. So here is my strike pattern when I retested the TSR3. You can see much more towards the center. Swing speeds again averaging out that 124 mark, but carry distance 308.8, total distance 330.8, ball speeds at 175.3. So I did find maybe a slight increase in ball speed when struck from the center, as you may expect. But again, for me, the big takeaway from the TSR was just how good it was from across the face, not just from the center. But to make no difference when struck from the center on the previous two releases, that, that was a surprise. But if you do wanna see more videos based around how to improve your driving and some of the best drivers out on the market right now, check these videos out here.